guys this is adam from 3dmosworld.com in this video i want to show you how to install a new tool we created 3dmosworld.com and this tool gonna help you attach your camera to any object in your scene and without selecting the camera or anything like that it's very straightforward you just select the object click attach and then the camera will keep following it and this tool also does everything in a non-destructive way so without further delay let me jump to maya and show you how it works Okay, so this is the scene I have. You can see now I have this car and it's driving and I want my camera like to follow. I don't want to have, uh, you know, to constantly keep trying, you know, and then frame and then whatever I want to like animate or something. If I just go one frame, just, you know, the typical thing, how the objects keep moving and then you keep trying to frame it. Okay, so let me show you the tool uh, quickly. So if you go inside the script folder, you can see here in the notes, it will basically be telling you exactly what you need to do. But we need to copy uh, the script file. So I'm just going to copy it from here. And then put it into my uh, scripts folder. And then the icon, I already copied it to the icon folder. And then the only thing we need to do is just copy this code here. And then let's go to the script editor and inside the Python tab, just let's make sure we have these into different lines and then press play. And then basically you're going to get the, the tool. And what I would recommend to do is just uh, copy this uh, code and then middle drag it here. And then what you can do is just go edit and in shelves here we're just gonna assign the icon so you can open and then click can follow click ok and then you can click here save and then basically so you click on it and it always will load the tool okay so now let's so this tool will basically whatever viewport camera you are in it's gonna basically attach it to whatever object you're selecting so you don't have to select the camera or anything just let's say i wanted to follow here this one I'll click attach and then we press play and you can see now the camera is following if you don't want the camera to follow anymore click detach and then the camera is not following it's as simple as that and then like if I go to the top view and then let's locate the car and then let's say from the top view I want to keep my camera following it because I want to do like some animation tweaks you know, just by selecting this object, it doesn't have to be curved, it can be anything. So we can just select like this geo here and click attach and then following without uh, any issues. And then now you can go perspective and then let's say you want the perspective now to follow, not the top view. You can either put like detach, I will just make all uh, cameras not follow anymore. Or you can just uh, click on whatever you want and then click attach. Okay, so this is uh, another scene I have. And you can see here I have some uh, simulation created with X Shatter. And then let's say I want my camera to follow a specific object here. So let me just click here on the tool. And then let's say I want to follow this object. I just click on it, click attach. Now my camera will be following it. And you can see just follow position we're not gonna follow rotation so we don't need and then let's say while i'm following this object i want to check this object so i select it click attach my camera now will be following this object and of course uh, this like you still can frame in your selection and adjust the camera position you know it will not be affected like your camera is still gonna be clean if i select the camera you can see here it doesn't have any constraint or anything so as you can see it's really cool like you can just follow any object instantly the camera will start following it and i found this really helpful for me when i'm working in 3d uh, sometimes i really want my camera to be following specific object if i'm doing like a walk cycle or or like any kind of situation where i want the camera to be always constantly following the object and i'm doing tweaks on it along the way i found this tool like extremely helpful and then in the help you can uh, read here how to use it it's really simple and i thought just to show you guys in a video because it's going to be much more straightforward and easy 
So I hope you're gonna find this uh, video helpful and please uh, go to our website to download the tool. It's gonna be for free. So hope it's gonna help you out and uh, let us know if you have any questions or any suggestions for more tools and stuff. So thanks again and have a great day.